What's up everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Matt and today we work a problem from the PE Water Resources exam. So let's dive in. A small watershed has an area of 150 acres and is primarily composed of residential land with a runoff coefficient of 0 0.30. The watershed experiences a storm that drops 3 inches of rain over a 24 hour period. Calculate the peak runoff rate from the watershed in cubic feet per second. So to solve this problem, we're going to use the PE reference handbook, and specifically we're gonna look at the water resources section, and we're gonna look at the rational formula. And the rational formula is in, like we said, the PE reference handbook, water resources section. It's called the rational formula. And the rational formula is equal to Q equals C, the runoff coefficient, times I, the rainfall intensity, times the area. And it's important to know that in this equation, the area is measured in acres. But to use this equation, we need to first calculate the rainfall intensity. And you need to know that the rainfall intensity rainfall intensity is equal to the total rainfall total rainfall divided by the duration so to calculate this we'll look back in the problem statement and we see that the total rainfall is three inches of rain over a 24 hour period so the three inches of rain is the total rainfall over 24 hours. Performing this calculation, three divided by 24 equals 0 0.125 inches per hour. And the inches per hour unit is consistent with the I variable in the rational formula. So in step two, we'll take our rational formula, Q, is equal to C I A. We'll plug in our variables. C is the runoff coefficient given in the problem of 0 0.30 times the intensity, which we just calculated in step one of 0 0.125 inches per hour, multiplied by the area, which is given back in the problem statement of 150 acres. And all those units are consistent with our formula. And we perform this calculation and we determine that Q, the runoff rate, is equal to 5.625 cubic feet per second. And that's consistent with the units we're asked to give in the problem statement of cubic feet per second. And we look at our answer choices and we realize that is closest to answer choice A. And we've successfully solved this problem. So I hope that helped you. And if you're looking for more practice, head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com and check out our ultimate civil PE water resources review course. And we'll see you there.